Welcome, fans of Milwaukee Rep. I'm Laura Braza. I am the artistic producer here at Milwaukee Repertory Theater. And I want to introduce you to Daryl, our director for our upcoming production of As You Like It. Could you kind of take us through the process of adapting this and give us some sense of how you fit the music and the lyrical text together so wonderfully? It feels like the Beatles songs uh, were, were written for this play uh, because the, like the arc of the, of the Beatles' own sort of music writing trajectory is really similar to, to this play. Much more uh, a traditional musical where the, where the songs move the protagonist's story forward. One of the most obvious examples, right, is Jayquiz. Jayquiz has a line where, he, where uh, Jayquiz says, a, a fool, I met a fool in the forest, right? And like there's a Beatles song called Fool on the Hill, right? Like that just like just felt so naturally made for it. When we decided to put the Beatles music into this, I had to figure out sort of where uh, where to set it, like what era. And so it made most sense to set it uh, set it in the in the 60s as sort of part of, you know, when when the Beatles were really sort of at, at the the height of their their creativity. And so it's a really like fun, fun era for clothing. It's much more of sort of the, the, the suits and the skinny ties of the kind of mod era of the sort of early, early 60s. And then we go from there as we go into the forest and you know, the inhibitions are, are, are released. We go much more into sort of the, the flowers and bright colors uh, of, uh, of what we think of, you know, in the sort of flower power of the 60s. This is one of those shows that asks so much of the cast, right? Like not only does the cast have to be, you know, great with Shakespearean text, but they also have to be great singers and a number of them have to be great musicians and some of them also have to be great wrestlers. So uh, so we decided to make uh, the the band are, are part of the cast and it, it all happens live and on stage in, in front of the audience, as opposed to trying to, you know, have it in the pit or, or have that kind of support. Because I think it's really like, Fun that it's part of the of the storytelling. What do you think people are going to walk away talking about? It is one of Shakespeare's best plays and most accessible plays. So I think I think the, the they'll certainly like talk talk about the journey that the, the characters go on because so many of the characters have such uh, you know such big shifts as the play goes on. But I do think it is one of those just like celebrations of the of the magic of live theater and, and just feeling the feeling like that was just such a great time.